Hi guys, it's Joanne here. So today I am at Sandy Island Beach in Pulaski, New York. And I thought I would do a tag video here at the beach. I hope you can hear me. We shall see with all the wind and all the waves. So if you're interested in checking out this uh, 21 question get to know me tag, then just stay tuned. So I was tagged to do this video probably about two months ago by Tracy B. I have my computer here so I can read the questions, <laughs> as you probably can see in my sunglasses. So if you are if you are not subscribed to Tracy B, go on over and check out her channel. I will leave a link in the description box to her channel. But let's just get right going to the 21 questions. Question number one is if I had to live with only one color, which would it be and why? That's a tough one for me. I know a lot of people might think that I would say Tardis Blue because I always say Tardis Blue. I want to say tie-dye because anything tie-dye I love, as you can see. But tie-dye is not a color, right? Tie-dye is a combination of colors. So if you were to ask me what my favorite color would be, I would have to say it's purple. Question two, what is your celebrity crush? And if you went on a date, what would you like to do on that day? I would have to say if I was to pick somebody that was a celebrity like crush, I would have to say it's Ian Summerhalder from Vampire Diaries. I just think his eyes are just so piercing that yeah what would we do on a date i don't know <laughs> does it matter if i'm with ian does it matter what kind of date we're on it's not like we would go bowling right it's not like we would go bowling i would just say what i what i would like what i like to do on a date is i like to go see a movie i like to go to dinner have a good laugh something like that so that's what we're gonna go that's what we're gonna go with question number three if you could change something um, something in my life what would it be and why Ooh, good question I've been asked this before and I think the one thing that I would have liked to change is that I would have liked to have started my own business sooner I worked for an accounting firm for almost 20 years and I wish I would have maybe started this entrepreneurial journey a little bit sooner than what I did. Question number four, something you would, name something I would change about YouTube and why. I would probably change the fact that you should have like your social security number or something like that attached to your YouTube channel so that if you go against the terms of service, on your channel and you get your channel taken down that you don't have the right to start any other channels uh, too many times I see people on YouTube are just going against the terms of service bullying people just really having uh, content that is just not family friend family friendly and advertiser friendly and I think that those channels deserve to be um, stripped away their rights to have YouTube channels Number five, if you could have two foods the rest of your life, which would it be and what two would they be? Oh my God, two foods the rest of my life. I would have to say pizza, number one, because I love pizza. And I would have to say number two would be strawberries because I, I, so I would need something sweet. So pizza and strawberries. Uh, number six, name something I would change about myself and why it can't be a body part. I can't be a body part, huh? I would have to say, for me, it's how emotional I get at times about things. I think a lot of times I take things too personally, and I need to kind of, like, 
lighten up on that, I guess, a little bit. Uh, let's see. Number seven, name something that a lover did for me. That's weird. Hmm. Well, I've really only been with my husband. <laughs> I've really only been with my husband. My husband and I have been together since I was in high school. We've been married. We'll be 30 years this August. So I would have to say, like, the most memorable thing would be when he proposed to me. That's kind of a kind of a funny story. We had plans to watch. I think a lot of you will appreciate that we had plans to watch the whole uh, trilogy of Star Wars. We were going to go to dinner and then come home. We actually back then we had we actually had to rent a um, VHS player because we didn't own a VHS player when I was when I was when I was growing up. We didn't have a VHS tape. We had a rent one from like a rent a center place for the night, and we had we had to, we had to rent the movies, and so we were getting ready to go out to this really nice restaurant in our area, and I was pissed. I was mad because of the fact that the VHS tape, the, the VHS recorder wasn't working. I was trying to get it connected. Mike wasn't there yet. It was at my mom's house, and I was just fuming because I couldn't get it to work right. So I was in the bathroom trying to do my hair doing nothing but bitching up a storm, just cussing and bitching up the storm that I was so pissed at that this VHS tape recorder wouldn't work. And he came into the bathroom and he got on his knee and he proposed to me. <laughs> and it was just like, it's just like so him to like kind of calm me down and proposed to me right when I was like fuming. So that was kind of a funny story and it was very sweet. And of course I said yes. <laughs> okay. What is something about my body that I like? Um, my favorite body part is my eyes. I, um, I like my eyes. <laughs> um, if I could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I love where I'm living now. I love upstate New York. I love the fact that we get all four seasons and we get to enjoy all four seasons for a perfect length of time. We can go to places like this, to a beach, it's sunny, we can enjoy winter sports. So I really like living in upstate New York, I do. Okay, two makeup items you can't live without right now. My two favorite makeup items are my Unicorn Tears lipstick by Too Faced and my Ulta Beauty Rainbow Highlighter. Cannot live without those, I absolutely love them. My favorite perfume, the next question is what's my favorite perfume? My favorite perfume is, I have two of them. One is Katy Perry's Mad Potion and the other one is Love's Baby Soft. What is my favorite smell? I absolutely love vanilla. Anything vanilla I love. Whenever I see something, a vanilla candle, I buy it. Whenever I, I just, anything that I always get that comes with a scent, it always has to be vanilla. What was my favorite toy as a child? I'm trying to think age-wise. I used to love my bike. When I was little, we used to just, we didn't play a lot of toys inside. I would literally just get on my bike and we just would ride around the neighborhood just all the time until it was dinner time and then I would come home and then I would go out again until it got dark and then I would come back home. So I would have to see it would be my bike. A song that makes me want to dance is what? Um, Tell It To My Heart by Taylor Dane. That's my jam. Uh, what is my favorite candle fragrance? Vanilla. Next question. What is my favorite snack? Currently, my favorite snack is the uh, Kind Bars, and it's the uh, cashew, cherry, and dark chocolate flavored one. Yum. What color best describes me and why? Tie-dye. <laughs> and why? I think it's self-explanatory. Which do you prefer, bathing or showering? Showering, for sure. Love showering. What is my favorite shampoo and conditioner? I use a Redken Sulfate Free for my color. And my conditioner, I use a Salon Selectives. Uh, like It's like a three minute miracle. It's basically a dupe for the Aussie three minute miracle. And I use that and keep that in my hair. Question 20, how would you spend a perfect day and night and with whom? Perfect day and night. Wow, that is a loaded question. Okay, so we're going to go with this. We're going to say that for me, a perfect day or night uh, is I'm very, very easily amused. Uh, I like to do lots of things. But let's just say wake up, 
making a nice breakfast with eggs, bacon, and pancakes, going to the beach, and just listening to the waves, listening to some great music, getting something to eat at a rest nice restaurant, maybe watching some fireworks at night. I love fireworks. Then coming back home, relaxing, watching a movie, and just having conversation, talking about life in general. And it can be with any of my best friends, any of my family, my sisters. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good day. The last question, say one thing about the person who tagged you. Okay, the person who tagged me is Tracy B. And I have been watching Tracy B for quite a long time. I would say probably over a year and a half, maybe even longer. And what I love about Tracy is I love that she is so funny, she is so sincere, and I just want to pinch her cheeks. <laughs> and I love that she calls me sugar. Even though she might call other people sugar, I love that she calls me sugar. <laughs> so that is it for my tag video, guys. Okay, I'm supposed to tag somebody. I'm going to tag a couple people actually on this one. I'm going to tag Ashley Beauty. I'm going to tag Susan Sunshine. I'm going to tag Leanne Live. And I'm going to tag Crystal Simmons. So you guys feel free to do the tag if you want. You by no means feel any pressure to have to do the tag, but you are officially tagged. So that is it for my video today, guys. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure you give my video a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Joanne. Nice to meet you. If you're new, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. You will become notified as to when I upload videos and when I go live on YouTube. And you, can, and you can also follow me on all of my other social media. I am at Joanne Plans on Snapchat, Instagram, Periscope, Twitter, and Musical.ly. You guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'm going to chat with you in my next video. Bye, guys.